Kazwa, <sighs> What time is it? It's almost midday. You've been asleep for 15 hours. Uh, okay. Maybe one more hour. But I've got some exciting news. What is it? The carnival will be in town tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. Kazwa, where are you going? The carnival is coming to town. I have to tell them. Tell who? Tell everyone. But wait, Kazwa. You haven't washed up or brushed your teeth. You haven't even changed your clothes. You can't go out like that. It's okay, Zaki. Tomorrow, inshallah, I'll wash extra hard and be the cleanest one at the carnival. Wash your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ears, clean up your room, wash your hands. Kazwa, wait! Someone doesn't smell too good. He makes me want to go home and shower again. Sorry guys, he's just very excited. Now you really need to go home and have a shower, Kazwa. First I need to tell Tufa and Tima. But you're so dirty now. Even your clothes are covered in mud. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will dress in my best clothes and be the best dressed at the carnival. Now, I need to go tell everyone. Kazwa, wait! Kazwa, you shouldn't be eating if you haven't washed your hands. But I'm so hungry. It's been a very long day. You can say that again. Let's get you home and cleaned up. Kazwa, 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 it's time to wake up. Kazwa, the carnivals arrived. They got all your favorite rides and food stalls. Come on, get up. Everyone's going. Kazwa? Ugh, I can't go to the carnival, Zeki. I, I feel sick. Oh no, Kaz. That's terrible news. Duhur, inshallah. This was going to be the best day ever. And now I'm too ill to do anything. Why do I have such bad luck? It wasn't bad luck, Kazwa. You may have got sick because you didn't wash up before you went out. And after you fell in the mud, you didn't clean yourself properly. And you didn't wash your hands before eating the apple. But I had to tell everyone about the carnival. That's no excuse, Kazwa. Washing ourselves is one of the most important parts of our daily routine. It's how we keep away all the nasty germs that can make us sick. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us that cleanliness is half of our iman, which is our faith. You're right, Zeki. Sometimes I just get too excited. I wish I had listened to you. Why don't you get in the shower and wash up? Okay. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ears, clean up your room, wash your face, tidy up. Alhamdulillah, I feel so much better after that shower. Come in. Are you feeling better now, Kazwa? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Please come in. Surprise! We wanted to come and cheer you up. The carnival isn't the same without you, Kazwa. Thanks, guys. I'm feeling even better now, alhamdulillah. Did you want to rest some more, Kazwa? Are you kidding? Let's all go to the carnival! Yay! Don't forget to always 
Alhamdulillah, we had a great day today at the carnival. Remember children, that our body is a blessing from Allah and we should take good care of it. One of the best ways to do this is by keeping it clean as much as we can. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ears, clean up your It's so hard to get these leaves from my rooftop. I think I need to buy a ladder. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum as salam, Dawood. Have you seen Badr today? No, I haven't. What seems to be the problem? Badr didn't come to the playground today. He always comes there after school. Maybe he went home to help his mother with some chores. I went to his house and his mother said he wasn't there. Maybe he went to the library or stayed behind in school to do his homework. But Badr loves to come to the playground after school. Everybody loves to play and have fun, but we also need to spend some time studying so that we can get good grades in school. Is everything alright there, Wood? Um... I think Badr is afraid to go to the playground. Hmm, now why would Badr be afraid to go to the playground? It's so much fun there. Well, some of the other kids have been calling him names. Ah, bullying? Nobody likes to be bullied. I'm glad you have told me, Dawood. Now we need to go find Badr. Badr! 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 Assalamu alaikum, boys. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Have either of you seen Badr today? No, we haven't, Zaki. Although we could really use his help right about now to help us get this balloon down. You're not tall enough to reach that balloon. Would you like some help? Yes, please. My balloon. I saw it first. I touched it first. Whoa! Wait a minute, guys. You shouldn't fight and be mean to each other. If you share the balloon, you can take turns to hold it and even play with it together. That sounds fairer and more fun. Don't you agree? Now, why don't you both shake hands and agree to share like good brothers? Okay, Zaki. It's my piece of string. I saw it first. I touched it first. Badr! Badr! We'll never find him. Hmm. Somebody must have seen him. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. Have you seen Badr anywhere today? Wa alaikum as salam, Zaki. Yes, I saw him today. He was walking towards the woods. Thanks, Zain. Now, where did I put my glasses? Badr. 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 Oh, there he is. Assalamu alaikum, Badr. That looks like a fun comic you're reading. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. 
Dawood and I were getting worried about you. You didn't go to the playground after school, and we know that you love to play there. Is everything okay? Um. Are you sure, Badr? Wouldn't you like to come with us to the playground? Um, no, thank you. I don't feel like playing today. Are you sure you don't want to come to the playground and play soccer with us? Um, I can't. Why not, Badr? Um. If something is wrong, then you can tell us. Some of the other kids at the playground are calling me names and making fun of me. It makes me feel very sad and sometimes scared. That's called bullying. Bullying is a form of oppression, and this is not allowed in Islam. When someone is calling you names, hitting, pushing, or shoving you, or do anything to make you feel threatened or afraid, that's bullying, and it needs to be stopped. But what can we do if they're bigger and stronger than us? If you ever feel like someone is making fun of you or trying to make you feel afraid, first you need to ignore them or ask them to stop. If they continue to make fun of you, then you can try to pretend you don't care or even laugh and joke along with them and maybe then they will stop. But if they continue to call you names and make you feel afraid, or even worse, if they hit you or push you, then you must tell a teacher, your parents, or a responsible adult. They can then talk to those who are bullying you and explain to them that it is wrong and it must stop. But they make fun of me because I'm so tall. Bullies will always make fun of people because they are different. But it's the thing that makes us different from everyone else that makes us so special. Come on, Badr, let's go to the playground and play soccer. What's wrong? Those are the kids who called Badr names. Why don't we help them get the ball down first, then we can talk to them and explain why bullying is wrong. It's not only the person that is being bullied who needs to tell a teacher or adult, but if you ever see a friend or any other person being bullied, you should always be a good person or tell someone older who can help the bullying stop. Now let's go play! Allah, what a beautiful day for fishing. Sure is, Kaz. Inshallah, we catch some fish. I wonder how that got there. Caswell, 
No! Look out! There's a waterfall up ahead! Hold on tight! This way, Kazwa. Uh, uh, are we safe? Looks like it. I think he needs our help. <laughs> Run! This dangerous, Zeki. Next time, be careful where you toss your fishing line. I don't think there'll be a next time. Look under the ocean, what do you see? Lots and lots of fish, so beautiful to see. Look, there's a turtle, look, there's a stingray, look, there's a seahorse, yellow and green. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Big blue whales and octopus too, an eel. A shark, swim in the deep blue. Look, there's a green fish. Look, there's a blue fish. Look, there's a yellow fish. So many to see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Look at the starfish. Red, pink and blue. Isn't it amazing? For me and for you. Look at the seahorse swimming away. So many beautiful creatures. Look and you'll see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Lots and lots of fish. Subhanallah. I can see a crab. Subhanallah I can see a seal Subhanallah And a sea turtle too Subhanallah Do you ever wonder Who created this And who created that Allah created the oceans Big beautiful oceans Assalamu alaikum Rashid. 
Waalaikumussalam, Zaki. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I couldn't be better. He's been lazy. He just won't help anymore. Why aren't you helping out? It's boring. And I don't need to do the gardening. They will do it. I just want to relax today. But working hard is good for you. So by cleaning or doing anything productive, it will actually make you feel better. Not to mention how happy it'll make your mother feel. Nah. I want to be like a horse. They just get to lay around in the field all day, while the farmer does all the work. Hmm. Would you like me to help? I have nothing important to do right now. Yes, that would be great. Thank you so much, Saki. Is everything okay, Rashid? Yes, Saki. It's a beautiful day, and I don't have to go to school. Everything is perfect. Why aren't you playing with the others? I just don't feel like playing right now. Really? I thought you loved playing sports. Nah, not anymore. Now I just prefer to lie around and watch others playing. I can still cheer when my team wins. That's not the same as playing, Rashid. You'll have much more fun playing. I don't want to exercise. I want to be just like that bird sitting on that branch. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me to lunch, Halima. My pleasure, Zaki. We wanted to thank you for helping us with the gardening. The food looks so delicious. I didn't cook it all myself, Zaki. Harun did a lot of the preparation for me. MashaAllah, Harun. I didn't know you could cook so well. <gasps> Rashid, slow down, or else you'll get a stomach ache. Don't worry, Zaki. I'll be okay. But you haven't been very active lately, Rashid. So if you eat too much, you can put on too much weight, which can be very difficult to lose. I'll be fine, Zaki. Assalamu alaikum, Rashid. Wa alaikum as salam, Zaki. Are you okay? You seem tired. Yes, but I'm okay. School finished over an hour ago. You look so tired and out of breath. Maybe, but I'll make it home eventually. Come with me. I want to show you something, Rashid. Look out into the field, and what do you see? Oh, it's the horses. They're helping the farmer. Yes, the farmer relies on his horses to pull his plough and prepare his fields to plant the seeds. They work so hard, and that is why they are so big and strong.
I look up there. What do you see? Oh, that bird caught a worm to feed its young. That's right. They have to work very hard to build their nest and get food for their young ones. They live a very busy life. But I work hard at school. That is great. However, just because you work hard in school doesn't mean you should be lazy after school. It's okay to rest sometimes when we are tired, but we should try not to be too lazy. Being lazy makes us unfit and can also make us sick. Even Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would ask Allah daily to protect him from laziness. Hard work, especially when helping others, can be so rewarding. Why don't you go play with your friends? I think it will be good for you to start getting fit. I think I have a better idea. I'll go home and help my mother. She may need some help preparing dinner. Now that's an even better idea. Laziness is something that Allah has told us about in the Qur'an. He mentioned it twice, referring to those who were lazy towards their prayers. The Prophet ﷺ was so concerned about being lazy that he would make dua to Allah each day to protect him from laziness. Let's learn this dua together so we can be protected too. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al hammi wal hazan wal ajzi wal kasal wal jubni wal bukhl wa dala' al dayni wa ghalabat al rijal We should be like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and recite this dua each day. Would you like some fizzy drink, Zeki? No thanks, Kaz. I'm warming up ready to go for a run. Why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week and it would be fun to exercise together. I'm far too tired to go running. Maybe we can play soccer or basketball. I don't feel like it, Zeki. You can never win the race, Zeki. You are too big and too slow. Why don't you lay down here with me and enjoy a fizzy drink. No thanks, Kazwa. I want to try to get as fit as possible for the race. Don't forget to clean your teeth from all the sugar in that fizzy drink. Okay, Zeki. I will. Assalamu alaikum Zaki. Wa alaikum guys. Hope you do well in the big race next week. We're gonna easily win this race. I know, we will get the fastest time too. Come on Harun, we don't have time to stop now. We need to keep exercising for the race. But I'm hungry. They have chocolate cookies. They are my favourite. We have to stick to our healthy diet Harun. If we start eating cookies, won't it make us slower? One cookie won't hurt us and they look so delicious. Mmm, they sure do. Assalamu alaikum Maui. Wa alaikum assalam guys. How's the preparation for the race going? 
Good alhamdulillah. The race is ours. We got it in the bag. Yeah, too easy. Okay then. See you at the race insha'Allah. Oh, you sure will. But make sure you don't blink because we will be running so fast you could miss us. <laughs> What are you doing, Zeki? I'm warming up, Kazwa. Why are you warming up? I don't need to warm up. I am ready to go. Warming up is very important before running or playing sport. When we stretch our muscles, it helps our blood flow better around all parts of our body. Warming up our body temperature just a little to prepare our body for exercise or sport. If we don't warm up correctly, it can cause us to get injuries or damage our muscles. Ooh. That's right, Kazwa. Very good. Come on, Harun. We don't have time to stop. We'll be late. But I'm hungry. And look at those yummy cakes. They're my favourite. I thought chocolate cookies were your favourite. One cake won't hurt us. And don't they look scrumptious? Mmm. Where are Harun and Rashid? Here they come. Are you sure you're ready to race? We sure are, Zaki. We're ready to win. To your positions, please. On your marks. Get set. Go! I always look more than twice It's so amazing to me And I know Yes, I know Allah created it perfectly I can see so many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah Subhanallah why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. Well done, Zeki. Thanks, Kazwa. Zeki, how did you get so fit? It's easy to get fit, Tufa. We just need to eat healthy foods and do regular exercise. Drinking too many fizzy drinks is bad for our body. Fizzy drinks contain a lot of sugar, and too much sugar can make us unhealthy and unfit. It is also bad for our teeth. We should try to avoid fizzy drinks and drink more water and fresh fruit juice instead. It's the same if we eat too many unhealthy foods. Unhealthy foods cause us to gain weight. And when we gain too much weight or get too unfit, it is very bad for our health. We lose power and become slow. Our bodies are a great blessing from Allah, and so we need to take good care of them. 
and never eat just before you do exercise. Oh. Where's Harun? So you have to release the string gently, like this. Oh, that looks easy. Now you give it a try. Okay, so I release the string a little, and then... Wow, look at it go! Well done, Kazwa. Okay, now I pull the string in a bit. Look how high it's going! Be careful now, don't lose it. dangerous in there. Subhanallah! That wind was so strong just now. What's wrong? My kite! It blew into Shadow Valley. <laughs> well, it's not that far in. I could fly in and get it. Really? Sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That lightning bolt was so close to me. Yes, it was. Alhamdulillah, you were okay. Did you hear that lightning strike? We sure did. It almost hit Tufa in Shadow Valley. Why was he in Shadow Valley? My kite is stuck on a branch over there. Well, I'm good at climbing, and I'm not scared of lightning, so let me try. That would be great! But please be careful, Dawood. I thought you weren't scared of lightning. But, but, I'm very scared of thunder. Oh no! What will we do now? Hmm. Huh. Well, the kite brought us all together, so maybe we should all go and get it together. But what about the lightning? And the thunder? I know. I'll sing a song. That way, we'll feel less afraid. Great idea. And I know how we can get the kite. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright Got it! Ziggy, you're the best! (laughs) 
You guys are the best friends ever. Jazakum Allahu khairan for getting my kite back. That's what friends are for. And that song was so fun to sing. Yes, that's the best fun I've ever had in a storm. Yes, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. No, no thank, thank you. you. I think I better not fly my kite right now. It's too windy. Let's go back to my house for some juice and cookies. Yummy. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite. So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright. Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV and Roku so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14 day trial. One for Kids online store Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.1forkids.net We thank you for your support.